Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the Earth of Gambit, so let's not waste any time and get right into today's Gambit. Now, this Gambit starts with E4, and it's played against E5, very common, and now you're going to go ahead and do the bishop's opening, which is essentially moving your bishop to C4 on the second move after E4, uh, and this allows you to play uh, D3 a lot more confidently um, as now your bishop is no longer trapped inside a, a, inside this little diagonal. Um, so this gambit is, is after the knight to uh, f6, which is uh, very, very common and very um, seemingly good as you're attacking this undefended pawn. And now instead of going for d3, you go for d4. Um, and this, give black, this gives black two options, either capturing this pawn uh, with with black's pawn or capturing this other pawn with the with the knight. Um, first, we'll be going over the variation that black captures with the knight, and um, this is the worst out of the two moves um, because now you can capture this pawn and give yourself a, a semi a semi open um, d file for your, for your queen, uh, which comes in very very important later on. Um, now let's go over a couple of different continuations for this. If black plays this move, which again seems quite nice attacking this pawn, but is very, very, very bad for black, uh, you're going to go and capture this pawn here. Um, and black is going to capture. And now you move your queen here, uh, forking both of the, not there, but the king and the knight. Uh, and after the, the king moves back, not only do you grab a knight um, for a bishop, and now you also have a pawn, this pawn right here. Um, you also give black uh, no chance of castling later on in the game. So you take away black's castling uh, ability, um, which can come in very, very nicely later on. Um, and from here, it's very, very nice for, for white. Uh, you can take out your, your bishop and your knight and castle queen side. Uh, you can take out your knight this, this side and castle uh, king side as well. Um, it's very open-ended. And uh, although necessarily you don't have a, a wonderful structure of pawns yet, um, very soon you can move and, and make, a, I guess, a, a four, um, four pawns lined up very nicely uh, like this and have a very nice chain of pawns um, tucking your, your queen away in a very nice spot as well on this diagonal, uh, hitting the rook. So, really nice position. Um, let's go back and uh, talk about a different uh, thing that you might see black do. If black instead goes ahead and plays this move here, um, trying to now... Uh, take away the only um, pawn that I have in the center. Obviously, this this pawn here is already uh, has already been taken. So, trying to get away the last uh, bit of hope of me controlling uh, the center with a pawn, you're going to move your queen here. And uh, obviously, black cannot capture because you are going to mate um, next move. Um, and also, you're threatening to capture here. So, you're threatening the knight and mate. Um, and it's very hard for for black to find a move. Um, although there is one move that is, well, the good move, I guess, uh, which is here. And if black plays anything else, I think you know uh, where where you need to go. Um, or if this, then I think you know where you need to go. Um, but here, uh, taking the, the knight away from danger and protecting this pawn uh, seems, you know, black just saved himself. Not quite. Um, because now you can go ahead and actually capture this pawn here. And if black captures this pawn with the, with the bishop, that's a pretty big mistake. You can capture this knight. Uh, threatening to capture the queen, the queen black, and um, you can't capture the queen, uh, obviously, uh, well, not because of that, but a, a similar idea, you can capture the knight, the knight is left undefended, and uh, later on you can go ahead and play this now that the knight is gone. Uh, and because of this, uh, black usually, and, and you can capture the pawn if you want, uh, but one more time, um, now you can capture this knight, uh, and, I mean, the, the queen is, is, again, protecting the knight, like in the first example, um, and so black will uh, lose a knight. Um, so black's only real uh, solid move is, is playing this, blocking off this kind of push against this pawn here. Um, but here you can simply capture this, and uh, trades might might happen and, and, and go on. Um, but, I mean, now you have uh, control in the center, and, and although, you know, you have two center pawns missing, uh, same for black with the two center pawns gone, uh, and you have a boost in development with two with two pieces already controlling uh, quite a lot of the board, uh, and and a, and a third piece on the way to now control all the center. Uh, and, and you can castle not there, but you can castle either way. Um, 
I personally kind of prefer castle and queenside after moving the bishop out, um, but it's all preference and, and how you feel at that time. It's a very fun uh, gambit to play because uh, there's just so much space in the middle for you. Um, and very, very nice. Now, let's hop all the way back. Uh, let's go here. Uh, where are we? Yeah, let's hop back. Uh, so we talked about if if black if black uh, decides, decides to move the knight here, or if black decides to move the pawn here. Um, but black can also move the bishop here, trying to I guess make a more symmetrical uh, shape in the center and uh, grab a little bit of the center uh, for for black. Um, but now you can go ahead and capture this this uh, pawn right here. And similar idea after capture capture. Uh, forking these two pieces and um, not very good. Uh, this time uh, you cannot go here because it is in uh, in in check. So you are going to win this piece. Um, very very solid. Uh, now let's move on uh, to the better move that Black can do, which is instead of capturing this pawn with the knight, capture this pawn. And if if Black captures this pawn, you're very very good. I mean. There's many variations, but in all variations, your queen comes into this to, to this spot mostly, and uh, after maybe a, a couple of simplifications, uh, you're doing much better in the center. If black decides to take this pawn, um, it's not as easy to grab as much uh, control in the center, um, but it's still going to be, uh, in my opinion, sided towards uh, white. And instead of capturing this pawn immediately, you're going to go ahead and bring out your knight. Now uh, pushing this here, and if black gives you the chance, and black probably won't play this, but let's just, uh, for the sake of this video, say that black plays this. I'm just trying to skip a move. Um, then you can go and capture it with the knight, and no longer do you have a queen in the center where black can play this and, and kick the queen back out. So it is why you want to bring this knight out, to capture it with a better piece. Uh, and against this... Black, you might see black, um, not there, but black, uh, go ahead and move out uh, black's knight, now controlling, or not controlling, but trying to protect this pawn. Um, and, and against this, you can push your pawn here. Uh, and now black is left with a couple of options. If black decides to move to this square here, um, seems all right, but you castle uh, this side. And although black has two pieces uh, targeting this, and it looks like you only have one, um, by castling, you actually you, you give another piece to the protection. Because if black takes, it's a huge blunder. Because after take, take, uh, you move your rook here. Um, you could actually also move your queen here. Uh, but you had to castle to get your king away from this spot here. So now that you're castled already, I would just use the rook and keep the queen on this nice spot here where it has this diagonal against the king. Uh, and you can move your rook or the queen, like I said, but the rook mostly here. And... Um, now, black is, is, is very, very, uh, well, it's not very good for black. If black plays this move or this move to try to uh, protect the knight, then you have this now grabbing the knight for yourself as the knight is, is pinned against this uh, king right here. And um, very, very good for, for, your, for you. Uh, so if black decides instead uh, to move here, and you might see this, it's fine move. Uh, I think it's it's maybe one of the better moves that black has. Um, but again, you can just simply uh, castle and uh, maintain now two, um, not open, but kind of uh, semi-open files in the D and E center files um, and have a lot more control in the center um, without actually having to have pieces uh, on the center or in the center. Um, and eventually you're going to play this move here. Uh, so it's going to be really wonderful. And it's hard for, for black to keep these pieces here um, because both pieces right now are useless. Uh, both of these pieces aren't doing anything. Uh, black has no, um, no, nowhere that, that the, the pieces can move to. Um, and, and you have a lot of moves to make. First of all, moving this pawn here, giving, black an, uh, giving your uh, king an escape, moving the rook here, moving the, the bishop out, moving the knight out. Uh, well, maybe moving the, the pawn first and after capture, moving the knight out. Uh, and you just have a lot of activity going for you and a lot of straightforward moves. Um, finally, after going here, um, and, and this is kind of considering that black won't play this uh, move, because if black plays this move, happy days. I mean, you've just kicked black away 
And uh, now you can just boost your development either by castling or, or doing whatever you want. You're just in control. And this very, very bad for black. Um, but yeah, like I said, considering black doesn't do this, uh, the only other really interesting move uh, for black would be moving here. Um, saying, you know, you grab my knight, I grab your bishop, and you don't want this trade because uh, even though you grab first after take, uh, you can take, but then you're only giving a black this nice diagonal right here uh, and, and, and an opportunity to castle. So you definitely don't want to do this. Uh, instead, you're going to move your bishop here, pinning this uh, knight here and, and threatening to capture with the knight as this knight can no longer move. Um, and uh, you're probably most likely going to see, well, this knight moving as now this knight is the only piece in danger. Uh, so if the knight moves anywhere, um, it doesn't really matter where. Uh, the knight probably will move here as now this pawn protects it and gives it a nice little outpost. But once again, none of black's pieces are doing really anything and they're all um, useless. Uh, and, and like I said, now you can capture this and obviously black cannot capture this. Um, black might play this, but very, very good for you. Uh, and you can even capture right there. Um, very solid and uh, wonderful, wonderful position. Uh, and if black doesn't play this move here, by the way, quick, quickly I want to mention, you can go ahead. So, for example, if black decides to, uh, I don't know, play bishop here maybe, uh, or let's say black decides to play the, the move that I like to use when I don't know exactly what black decides to play, which is moving this uh, pawn here to h6. Uh, if black decides to do this, uh, then you can go ahead and capture this knight here. Uh, and, well, after take, take, <laughs> you can see what you're gonna, what gonna get yourself into. Uh, really nice position, really nice game. And uh, it's a really safe gambit in the sense that uh, it doesn't matter what black decides to do, you always have a move uh, to do. Um, now, hopefully you enjoyed this gambit and uh, want to see more openings and leave them in the comments uh, below because I'm really happy to make these videos and they seem to do really well on my channel. Um, a lot of people enjoyed those videos more than other videos. That being said, if you are here for the puzzles that I upload every day, as I didn't upload a puzzle yesterday because I made an opening video and today because I made another opening video, uh, don't worry, puzzles are going to come back tomorrow. Um, in fact, I have a really nice puzzle that's a Maiden 10, very interesting, um, and I'm kind of still working on it, but... Uh, really, really good uh, uh, puzzle. V definitely worth to check out. So make sure you guys come back for tomorrow for that really interesting puzzle. Um, other than that, turn on post notifications, subscribe, like, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.